Hi there, I'm Mike from Pressed Mike. Welcome to episode 4 of the Affinity Publisher Beta Intro Series. Today we are going to look at setting up pages and master pages. Let's get on with some basics. I have a cover page already set up in A4 size. Let's create a couple more pages. Here's a tip. If you want to set up a publication for print, maybe a book or a magazine, the number of pages should be perfect multiples of 4. Browse to the Pages tab on the left hand side of the screen. Look at the Pages section. You will see four icons. Section Manager, Add Page, Duplicate Selected Pages and Delete Selected Page. We are going to use the first one, the Add Page button. In the dialog box that opens, you can input the number of pages you want either before or after the indicated page. So in our case, let's enter 8 in the number of pages. Select after and enter 1 in the page field. The drop down for master page doesn't yet work as we still haven't set up master pages yet. And what exactly is a master page? Keep watching and you'll get your answer soon. So now let's click OK and your pages should have been added to the publication. Here's another shortcut for you. If you want to add a page quickly, use the shortcut Ctrl, Shift and Page Down. One page will be added after your current page. Anyway, let's undo that and get back to our process. Did you notice that we now have 9 pages in the document? I'm sure you did. And 9 is not a good number for a print publication. We can do two things. Delete any page you don't need or add 3 more blank pages. Of course, the last page should be reserved for the back cover. Okay. Now let's add some guides to our page. Guidelines are important when you want to arrange text elements in an organized manner. It could be, yeah, text and elements. Go to the view menu, look for the guides manager option and click it. In the dialog box that opens, you need to click the new guide button once in both the horizontal and vertical sections. Your guides will be added at 50% of the page. In case you want to add more guides at different percentages of the screen, you can definitely do so. Just add a new guide and change the percentage. Our page has guides and now let's add some rectangle shape and let's add some text as well. To be uniform we need to create the same set of shapes and guides on all pages. Don't you think this is going to take forever? We have just 8 pages so that's okay but if you have a 30 page or let's say a 100 page spread that's gonna take forever. So there is an easier way. Master pages. Let's go back to the left hand section drop down the master page section. You will not see anything here because we haven't created one. The master page is primarily a template or a blueprint if you may of a page or design. You can apply this to as many pages as you want and changes are easy too. Take a look. Click on the add master button. You will see a dialog box that's similar to the page setup dialog or the spread setup dialog. You can give a name to your master page plus you can create as many master pages as you need. You will notice that the single and facing page options are grayed out. The default is a single spread style. However, if you want to use a facing spread style, do this. Go to document setup, select the layout tab, check the facing pages box and your publication will be updated instantly. Now if you go back to adding a master page, you can add facing page style master. Great! So let's add some guides 25%, 50%, 75%. Copy the rectangle shapes from the page, go to new master page and paste. Now you can apply that master page to another blank page. You will see the shapes appear automatically. But there is one thing you should know, you cannot change the content or text in the shape. Let's add a background color to the master page. Drag out a shape and fill it with any color. 
notice that the page where this master is applied automatically gets updated. Now this is the power of master page. The trick here is to create a set of master pages you'd like to use in your publication and apply them accordingly. The one thing you need to remember is that you should add only text and elements that will not require to be changed on individual page. So that's a lot of information for this video. In the next one and in the upcoming videos we're going to take a look at more work with master pages and pages and there's still a lot more to learn in Affinity Publisher. So the final episode in this series or maybe the next is going to be that we're going to create an ebook style title like Scott Kelby's ebook. So keep watching, keep waiting and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.